don't go away. Go away. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. What do you do when someone suddenly collapses in front of you? It could be a loved one, you know. Well, guess what? Today we're going to learn all about cardiopulmonary resuscitation and learn how to use the automated external defibrillator. Everyone can do it, if you dare. And you could save the life of someone whose heart suddenly stops, also known as a cardiac arrest. I have a heart problem. <laughs> Everyone, you just witnessed a cardiac arrest. My heart just stopped. Who <laughs> are so unhelpful, these people? <gasps> Take selfies some more, you know? Look, children. Can you move a little faster, please? I'll die in a few minutes if you don't help me. Hurry up! Okay, first, check if you're in a safe location. Like, not in the middle of the road. Look safe here. No sign of danger. Check for responsiveness. Make sure I'm not taking a nap. Duh, duh. Are you okay? What do you think? Duh. Obviously, I'm not okay. Next, call for help. Because you have to attend to me. You go get help. I'll stay with him. Okay. Hey, mister, please call 995 for an ambulance. Huh? You're talking to me? Shushu, help me. No, no, no. Go to the toilet. Oh, I'm Excuse me, Miss Penny, please call 995. Okay, now get an AED. Do you know where the nearest AED is? We'll get it quick. Put the phone on speaker mode. Remember to stay on the line. Hi, this is 995 Emergency. Staff Sergeant Zarina speaking. Don't panic. Send an ambulance the medical dispatcher on the phone will tell you what to do. And I know if patient is breathing normally. He's not doing properly. I need you to start doing CPR now. I need you to put the heel of the palm at the centre of his chest. Lock your fingers and your elbows. We need to push it down hard and fast. 5 cm deep. We're going to start now. 1, 2, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Push hard, push fast. Don't worry about breaking my ribs. Push hard, push fast. Don't worry about breaking his ribs. Amazing. You can beat the time. 3, 4, 5, 6, Ah yes, here comes the AED. It's about time. Okay, I need you to go and put in the pads on the AED and listen to the instructions, okay? Any signs of revival yet? No, he's not Start. coming around. Okay, I need you to still continue doing CPR until the ambulance arrives, okay? Two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. Nine. Good. Well done. You have done a very good job. Yeah! Wow. Thank goodness the ambulance came really fast. Thanks, guys. Wow, they disappear very fast too. <laughs> but if not for the swift response of these young friends of mine, I would have been dead by now. Hmm. Okay, so you see, we must move very quickly in times of emergency. So step up and dare to help save a life because the heart in cardiac arrest waits for no man. Let me show you my poor heart. The average heart beats 100,000 times a day. 
supplying 7,000 litres of blood and oxygen to the body and vital organs like your brain, lungs, kidney, legs, hands, aya, your whole body. In a cardiac arrest like the one you just saw, the heart stops, the blood stops flowing, no oxygen reaches your brain. So, what's going to happen? Dialogue. Just in case you don't believe how serious and important this is, here are a few people with first-hand experience saving lives or escape death, just because someone dared and reacted immediately. I was on one of my rounds uh, that day and it happened in Palawan Beach. So one of them happened to just collapse. So I checked and realised that he did not have any pulse and was not breathing as well. So immediately backup arrives and we administered CPR while I was using the AED on him. He placed the pad at the location and we get a prompt from the AED, short advice. Then that's where Yazid pressed and the casualty actually literally lit up. I continued with my CPR the machine then prompted us, no shock advice. Then Yazid realised that there was a big pulse. So we were quite happy. We stopped CPR, put him in recovery position while waiting for the paramedic to arrive. I was cycling along the East Coast Park connector. Suddenly I went unconscious and collapsed. Um, I was actually cycling with uh, my family. A man uh, was lying at the side of the road and there were a few people surrounding him. So I quickly went up and I asked them what happened. After getting a history from them, I realised that he had agonal breathing and that was actually not real breathing. So I told them we need to restart CPR and we asked another person, please go to the nearest place where there might be an AED, try and find us an AED. And in the meantime, we just carried on CPR all the way until the paramedics were able to make their way in. And at a point in time, when the ambulance arrived, they brought in their AED, gave, I think, one or two shocks, and then Mr. Ong had a pulse. I had only 5% survival chance. Well, CPR is like a survival kit, and it's important during an emergency situation when every second or minutes is crucial in saving a person's life. CPR saved my life, and I would like to say a thank you to Dr. Ng personally. Thank you. Uh, I received a call from one of my colleagues saying that the uh, golf had collapsed on hole number 12. I had to go out with the first aid kit and the AED. And the feeling that when you had saved somebody's life, uh, it's unbelievable actually. Some people are afraid to do CPR because they are not professionally trained. We still assure them, while we're on the line, the ambulance is already on the way to assist them. But while waiting for that, we have to do CPR to sustain the person's life. A lot of people, they are afraid of not being able to help the casualty out to recover and also mainly no confidence. But at the end of the day, it's never a mistake to save a person's life. Well, I would say so, yes, because even my daughter is 12 at the moment. Of course, I'm not the expert at CPR, but I'm going through the motions with her and I find it's easy for her to pick it up, actually. So I would say that everybody can do it. When you do things in good faith, with good intention, no one will come out to fault you. The amazing thing is anybody can do CPR. You don't need any tools. Uh, all the tools you have, you carry with them. They are here. So every, anyone can learn it and everyone should learn it. You know, dare to save a life. Push hard, push fast, get an AED and stay on the line until the ambulance arrives.
Now for a quick recap. If a person is down, unconscious and not breathing normally, stay calm. Check for danger. Check for oh, responsiveness. Oh, are you okay? Shout out these phrases. Call 995 for ambulance. Get an AED. You can find AEDs at these locations. Stay on the line. A medical dispatcher will instruct you. So listen and listen carefully. Check for breathing. Start CPR. Interlock your hands, position and push. Push 5 cm downwards, hard and fast. Keep going and stay on the line. Grab an AED or get someone to go find the nearest one. Using an AED sounds difficult, but you can do it. It's a device that can deliver an electric shock to restart the heart and increase the chances of survival. Step 1. Switch on AED. Attach pads. Place one right in the centre of the person's chest above the nipple. Place the other pad slightly below the other nipple and to the left of the ribcage. Step 2. Follow the instructions given yeah. by the AED. Step 3. Press shock button deliver if instructed. Shock now. Shock delivered. If the victim is not coming round, continue to push hard and fast while you wait for the ambulance to arrive. So I suppose you're tougher and more daring now. <laughs> so next time someone collapses in front of you, what should you do? Call 995. Stay on the line. Push hard and push fast. Use an AED and dare! Exactly. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>